All right, guys, welcome back. Gonna slow things down a little bit. Things have been a little crazy out here with this weather that we've been having, man. I just wanna show you guys uh, some of the stuff that's been happening here. If you guys are new to the channel, uh, this is a South Texas channel. I fish down here in the Rio Grande Valley, um, Arroyo City, uh, Port Mansfield, South Padre Island. This freeze has been really tough on our environment. Um, a lot of the sea turtles and also our fish, uh, saltwater and freshwater, it's been tough on a lot of them. They're everywhere, they're by the surface, they're washed up on the shore. Uh, they're not used to cold weather like this. Because of this, I am going to do catch and release for a while until things uh, get a little better. Check this out. saw some trout on the surface of the water just kind of stunned and kind of not really swimming but kind of floating around and um, we decided that we had kind of seen enough and uh, we went ahead and headed in after that so he went out the next day and they saw the shoreline just covered with fish so you guys take a look What's going on guys captain eli here change of pace for today for i'm actually not doing any fishing and uh, as you can tell really is not around we actually started out on a fishing trip today with some friends of mine as you can see in the back and we stumbled across this one of the islands on the north side of green and it's it's ridiculous amount of dead trout there are out here as you can see behind me this whole shoreline is littered with dead trout a few dead turtles this is not something that we need to take lightly. This is something that needs to be considered for all of us. This year, we need to be practicing more catch and release. This population has really taken a hit, especially the trout. I'd say nine out of 10 of the fish down here that are dead on this island that I've seen after exploring are mostly trout. So guys, let's all do our part and practice some conservation this year. Thanks guys. As far as you can see guys, just dead fish. All this, mostly trout. I mean, these are healthy trout too. A few turtles, sadly, but not alive. There's not much we can do about them. We will report it. We will make make sure the proper people know about these turtles. And this goes to show, guys, we all need to do our part and practice the conservation this year. Our trout population is going to take some time to recover from this. We're going to be showing Port Mansfield, uh, another fellow YouTuber of mine, uh, Captain Bobby. Um, he has a channel called Cast and Blast. You guys be sure to check him out. Got some good fishing content over there. Um, he went out just a few days actually after me. I went out there and I didn't really see a lot of dead fish. We're out here at Port Mansfield. I decided to drive down here and see how everything is. See if I could see any dead fish. But uh, I don't see anything, man. Um, but uh, he went out a few days later and the shore was just covered with them. Hey, what's up everybody, man? We're gonna go hit the South Bay right now. We're gonna see what we can catch. Well, I mean, South Side at uh, Port Manzo. Let's see what's up. A lot of fish are dead on the side. Man, there's a lot, 8 to 20 inches. I went to the marina and this is all I saw. I felt so bad I couldn't fish that. Come on, man. I just watching it, I couldn't fish it. But there was a lot of people fishing it. I just felt so horrible. All right, thank you, uh, Captain Bobby, for sharing that. Um, just goes to show guys that um, every day things could be getting just a little bit worse. Um, I really hope they're getting better. Um, the shot from the marina is a good sign. Um, that shows that trying to warm up and trying to come to the surface and uh, get that sunlight and get that warmth and uh, hopefully they're going to be uh, doing better soon. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, I hope everything is going to get better. and. Um, I believe that everything is gonna be all right. Uh, right now, things look pretty tough. 
Um, so do your part, um, catch and release, or only take what you really, really need um, for that freezer. Um, I understand some people, they don't have meat in the freezer right now, and I totally understand that, um, and I sympathize with you. But if you got freezers full of fish, um, I mean, don't be greedy. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, uh, comment how it is in your area. I'd like to know uh, and see how everything's going and all, you know, all over the Texas coast. Um, and uh, we're almost to 2,000 guys. When we get to 2,000, we're going to be doing a guided trip with Captain Ely, um, catch and release only, um, but we're only about 40 subscribers away. So be sure to subscribe, comment, like, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll be seeing you guys next time, hopefully on the water. Thank <laughs> you.